Hello, Dr. Ben Lynch here. I want to talk with you right now about COMT, the Catechol O-methyltransferase enzyme. It's a big hitter out there in the internet. It's a big hitter in your clinic. You're confused. You hear some people talking about giving hydroxycobalamin for those who have the COMT, Valmet polymorphism, and you're trying it, works for some patients. You're giving SAMe and magnesium to some of your patients who have COMT, Valmet polymorphism and you're getting some benefit and some are getting worse. But let's back up before we get a little deeper. What is COMT? COMT is an enzyme which works very hard in helping get rid of dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, estrogens, and other catechols such as green tea from your patient's body. Now dopamine and norepinephrine are useful. They create alertness and focus. And we know your patients with ADHD have issues with attention and focus. And we also know that people can get, tend to get irritable and stressed out. And those who have this slow ability to get rid of these neurotransmitters of dopamine and norepinephrine do tend to get more irritable. We also know from research and understanding the mechanisms of how COMT works that estrogens get metabolized by COMT. So breast cancers and any estrogen related cancers are also known to be related to COMT polymorphisms because you need to get that harmful estrogen out of the body. So if you're giving estrogen uh, support to your patients and they have a COMT slowed gene problem, then that's a problem. We need to address that. So there's a known polymorphism in this COMT enzyme which slows it down and it slows it down significantly. Exactly how much? I don't know. I want to say about 40% but I'm shooting from the hip on this. I don't know specific details, but I know it's slowed. So if your patient has a COMT Valmet variant, V158 is the SNP ID, and they have a MET-MET variant, it slows the COMT down. What's that mean? That means your patient has higher dopamine, higher norepi, and higher estrogen levels than the patient possibly who does not have it. Now. This is not guaranteed. If they're not eating tyrosine or eating protein, maybe they're already low in these neurotransmitters. It's not a guaranteed, but it's increased susceptibility. Understand that. You don't treat a patient's SNP. You understand how it works. Now, what supports COMT? Say your patient does have elevated dopamine and estrogens and norepi. What do you do for that? Well, I like to support the enzyme specifically, and we know that cofactors speed enzymes up. So you you, if you understand that SAMe and magnesium are the two cofactors that you need to make COMT work faster, then you can give SAMe and magnesium to support your patient's slow COMT, right? That would make sense. You get rid of the dopamine and norepinephrine by supporting the enzyme. But wait a minute, you heard somewhere that you can't give SAMe or methyl donors to a COMT person who has this slowed issue, right? If you give methyl donors to a person with COMT, they get worse. Some patients do, some patients don't. Aren't you getting sick of me saying that all the time? I don't want you to get sick of that. I want you to harness it. I want you to understand that there's a bell-shaped curve in your patients. Some patients do very well on hydroxocobalamin with COMT issues. Some patients do very well on SAMe and magnesium. Why? Their biochemistry is different. They're eating different things. They're exposed to different things. Their mindset is different. Some are in school, some are in a high stress job, some are chilling out on the beach. It all depends. If you give SAMe to a patient with a COMT variant and they get all irritable and angry, then that's a sign, a quick sign, that their methylation system is blocked because that SAMe, instead of supporting methylation, has now increased the homocysteine of your patient and further inhibited your COMT enzyme. If you give SAMe to your patient and they do better, it's possibly a sign that their methylation system is working, that SAMe has now gone to homocysteine, but with methylation support, it can be recycled back into SAMe. It's not inhibiting your COMT. So there's a diagram right here which shows you how COMT is supported with SAMe, and then also shows how the methylation system works. It's useful, this is complicated, it requires a lot longer discussion. I know you've got questions, 
and I want to answer your questions. But I do hope this has given you some insight to this very important enzyme for your patients today. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about this. ShyCon 2015, have you heard about it? You just enjoyed this video, I hope. You're excited about it. This information is very clinically relevant to you and your patients. ShyCon 2015 is an upcoming conference in October that you can't miss. There's 400 like-minded people like me, like yourself, that want to know more about how to optimize the health of your patients. You have four days of it. You have 400 doctors who are wanting to get more information on this and do what they need to do and transform medicine and transform the health of your patient and transform your practice. ShyCon 2015, you can do it. Learn more at seekinghealth.org. Thank you.